The leaked report, which looked at the severity of different deals the UK could leave the EU with, warned of shortages post-Brexit. Speaking on Good Morning Britain, P-R-E-S-E-N-T-E-R Susanna Reid spelled out the warnings which suggested the country would be left short of medicine, fuel and food, infuriating co-host Mr Morgan. Piers Morgan said, Oh come on, you ray buying into Project Fear. He added, Even as we say it, it has fanciful nonsense. Here is why I say this. Brexit news. Piers Morgan quickly dismissed the Brexit doomsday report. I remember the debate of the Euro. That if Britain did not enter the Euro, it was going to be EFINANCIAL disaster. We would go into recession, probably depression, and it simply never happened. In fact, the complete opposite happened. I also remember George Osborne very specifically saying, not once Brexit happened, but if we took the vote in the referendum to leave, immediately, we would tumble into recession. And again, it simply didn't happen. So, it is the cry wolf moment, isn't it? Labour MP Chuka Yumana, who has called for Brits to be given another vote on the final deal, repeated some of the warnings. It is the cry wolf moment, isn't it? Piers Morgan, he said. Well, the point is, Piers, it is not an impossible situation. The reason we did not have the fallout after the vote WASBECAUSE the Bank of England and the AUGUSD after the vote took emergency measures to inject confidence into our economy. Susanna is absolutely right, it is not just the practical impact of customs. The British Freight Transport Association says that every extra two minutes of checks at Dover then you have GOT 17 MILE long queues. Also there will be tariffs as well, let us not forget there will be tariffs, if there is no deal. The debate comes after a leaked report to the Sunday Times with civil servants reportedly drawing up scenarios for a doomsday Brexit that would leave the country short of medicine, fuel and food. The paper included models for mild, severe and Armageddon reactions to no deal exits. Date spokesman for the Department for Exiting the European Union rejected the claims, adding, a significant amount of work and decision-making has gone into our no-deal plans, especially where it relates to ports, and we know that none of this would come to pass.